All right. Let's try Archimedes. Archimedes. I don't even know. Archimedes. Okay, so we're doing a priest deck. Big surprise. Those are like my go to decks. Um, and the point of this deck is just kind of the generic priest deck. You want to buff a bunch of big heavy hitters and do damage in a single turn. Um, and this is the guy who has the crazy weapon, but you don't get the cards like you do on normal to destroy the weapon, so you're going to be running two acidic swamp boosts. Um, if you're finding the weapon is killing you, you can absolutely uh, throw in a Harrison Jones. I don't have Harrison Jones, so we're trying this. None of you are acidic swamp boosts. Stop it. Like exactly what I want, pretty much. That's pretty good. All right. Death All right. In the darkness. You. I hear you. You're still dead. Yay! That went way faster than I thought it would. I am somewhat surprised. Okay. Sweet! Yay, priest. Again, I only ever really play priest when it comes to solo adventures, adventure mode, whatever you want to call it. So, 
the deck for Archimedes. Really cheap to under a thousand uh, dust to make if you don't have any of the cards, but you will have definitely a few of them if you have done the next Ramos <coughs> adventure mode. So two Circle of Healings, two Inner Fires, two Light of the Narios, one Mind Vision, two Power Word Shields, two North Shire Clerics, two Divine Spirits, two Shadow Word Pains, two Acidic Swamp Oozes, one Light Well, two Shadow Word Deaths, two Thought Steals, two Valens Chosen, two Death Lords, two Senjin Shield Mastas, and two Sludge Belchers. And that is it. As you can see, it's you don't have to get the ideal cards every time, but you should at least try to get your one of your taunts out relatively quickly and then slowly start to buff them. And if you can let them take a little bit of damage and then throw Light of the Naru down and then just try and heal everything, especially with Circle of Healing. That tends to work out really well. You can really buff up a Light Warden. It's a really good deck. So, A+, and just Nefarian is left.